Hi everyone and welcome back to session two of five in this family support workshop for families with young school aged children during COVID. Um, today I'm going to be speaking about your family functioning. Now this may be a term that you think you understand, but there's actually quite a lot of theory involved, which will really help you to assess and to increase your um, effective family function. Okay, so the way I'm going to explain it today is by looking at the circumplex model. And we will start with the element of cohesion. Okay, what is cohesion? Cohesion is the emotional connectedness and bonding among family members. And this can include boundaries, decision making and interests. In other words, how enmeshed is this family? Do they make each other's decisions? Do they share all the same interests? Do they have any boundaries? Do they give each other privacy and time on their own? Um, do they tell everything to one another? Is it a problem or not? In the end, what we want to have is a balance between a family being separate as well as together. So together they can do things, they can bond, they can really have a strong uh, quality relationship, but they must also be able to each function in their own individual systems outside of the family system. For example, at school or at, her, or at work uh, with friends, etc. Next, we have flexibility. So flexibility refers to the expression of leadership in the family, as well as the organization of the family. Now, what does this mean? This is basically the roles everyone should play in the family and whether there's rules for the relationship and then negotiations. In other words, is there someone who is assigned to cook the, uh, make dinner, um, do the laundry, uh, do the discipline between mom and dad, um, maybe change a diaper of little sister, help the children with homework, etc. Then in these different relationships, um, is there, are there any rules? For example, between the mother and the child, um, are there rules that, you know, the child can't speak to the mother in a certain way or not? and so forth. And then are there negotiations that uh, the mother and the father or the mother and the child can say to each other, this is not working for me. May we please um, be more flexible in this regard and, for example, extend my curfew. So what we want here is a balance between stability and also change. So stability in terms of that everyone knows who, what the roles are in the family, what the rules are, um, how they negotiate, but if there's need for change, for example, if a family member uh, becomes an adolescent, it might be time to actually extend curfew, then there also needs to be some change. Or if something is not working, if the boundaries are too enmeshed and the systems are too enmeshed and somebody is feeling completely smothered or codependent, there might be changes. But then there also needs to be stability because this allows for everyone in the family to feel safe if they know what their roles are, what the rules are, and how do they go about negotiating with their parents or with one another. Then to link these two, we have the big C, which I mentioned earlier, communication. Communication is positive skills, which improves both cohesion as well as flexibility. And this is done by listening, speaking, asking and making sure clarity is everywhere. Everyone understands what the other person is trying to say. Self-disclosure, taking your family's members feelings into account and just having respect for each other. And by doing this, both cohesion as well as flexibility um, will really improve because everything depends on how well the family can actually communicate. So on that note of communication, to help you guys um, develop this skill a little bit, I've suggested you go visit the How We Love website. You'll know from our first session, I also suggested you go look at the How We Love Our Kids. So this is the website where you can also find that book amazing. And there's a quiz that the whole family can also do and to see how do they communicate. And you can actually adjust and work with each other to be cohesive and flexible and have the whole family actually functioning well, uh, healthily. Um, and then also to help with communication, I've included a feeling words chart um, on my web page. So this is, for example, if someone is very angry, something happened, um, 
like the curfew was broken, you sit down with your child, you take the feeling, the, the list of feelings word, and you ask the child, okay, choose about three emotions or feelings for me, I'll choose three, and you discuss that. So this is such a helpful tool to just talk about what you are feeling. In other words, not keeping quiet, but rather communicating, which will then lead to more cohesion and more flexibility in the family. I really hope you found this useful. And yeah, I'll see you at the next session. Looking forward to it.